like I swear. Okay. Let's talk about Furry Amino for a moment. At first glance, this is a cute little community. The fan base is really creative. There's lots of challenges to do, uh, you know, even lots of great artwork's been featured on the front page. The atmosphere's nice and... Oh no, there it is. Oh no! Ah! Oh yeah! God save us all. Uh, in a serious note, so I know you can't avoid things like this in a fan base, but holy hell is it prominent here. I know that there's thousands and thousands of videos already on YouTube about how cringy furries can be. But the point of this video isn't to make a compilation of the things that haunt your every waking moments or anything like that, despite how very tempting it is. And how much material I can rake in for just spending five minutes on the app, uh, I didn't say anything about the shh. It's to talk about some of the shit I've encountered while on there. And some of this ranges from creepy to downright stupid. And I'm not just gonna be ranting with no reason, or no cause of course. No, 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 that's not how we do it. That's too overdone already. I'm here to explain how to not be a shitty person on the internet. Just a PSA to the people out there. So, to begin, this app is notorious for underage users. From what I noticed, a huge portion of the people that use the app are roughly 11 to 16. You're not supposed to be on the app at all if you're under the age of 13, but there's always a few who can't keep their mouth shut when it comes to their age, and they start blabbering about, Oh, hey, I'm underage! I'm 11! And they start complaining about how they're being bullied because of their age. So you can usually tell that they're underage by spamming, excessive amounts of typos, heaven forbid I try to read some of the stuff that's been sent to me. Whatever the fuck. But here's where it kind of gets weird. You go and you, you try to give advice to these kids to, hey, you know, don't go around saying your age or you're gonna get banned. So me and a couple other people had told this kid that it wasn't a good idea that he came in and started saying his age. Like I said before. And then they come back at you with, You can go suck a minion's ass! And once you've been told by an 11 year old to go suck a minion's ass, nothing will ever be the same. Nothing. I don't have screenshots of this because I never thought it would come to the point of me having to make a video about this. Oh no, I'd forgotten about this one. Until I looked through my screenshots. And if you thought that was something, you're in for a doozy. Back when I first joined the Amino around November of last year, I had this one random dude message me out of the blue. Okay, so the first thing I noticed wrong about this kid was the fact that he's using his face. And, and not on top of that, a really bad quality picture of his face on a site where the point is to have a persona of you. It was like one of those bad snaps that you get where it's nothing but just chin and nose like, I showed you my pee pee, please answer me. The only other way I can think to explain it is this image. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, this is how the interaction went down. Hi. I love you. You're pretty. Little to say I was highly uncomfortable given I was new to the Mino. I didn't... I kind of didn't expect this to happen on here, because I've, I've heard nothing but good things about the community of Amino. Oh, also, and I went back to check and see if I'd missed any of the messages in the screenshot, c given that they were old and everything, and I found this. I don't know what makes me so happy to see people's accounts getting shut down after they pull some stupid shit like this. But it does. I don't care if that makes me a bad person. I'm gonna tell you right now, though. Dead ass serious. Regardless of your age or the other person's age, no one likes being messaged this when you first enter an app. Okay, so aside from these creepy messages, there are these hell spawns of conversations I somehow wind up in, and they get worse. I don't remember exactly how, but one day I stumbled across something glorious. A gem of a character that was once again obviously underaged. Oh, <laughs> wait, but wait, there's more! Before I get into the actual drama that unfolded, I'd like to explain that this person is someone who posts these types of polls all the time and then deletes them a day after. This already says a lot. I didn't think too much of them until I'd noticed that some people had commented on their wall about the quote-unquote 
art that they were using as their icon and such. Now, looking at these, anyone with common sense would think, Oh, hey, this came from a character making app. There's, there's literally no way to work around explaining this. And of course, other people caught on really fast. This is the thread of comments that started piling up on their wall. Um, this is not our art. You made it from a dog avatar app. It's super obvious, and the reference sheet you did was stolen from someone. It's not our art, please stop. It's annoying. I drew it. If you're here to complain, you can gladly leave. Have a good day. You did not. I had that app and I'm not stupid. Just admit it already. It's Ovaus. Most people are probably just being kind, but this is unacceptable. You need to stop. How come every eye you draw is exactly the same as the other and the patterns too? This is dumb. It's obvious. Then, of course, I just had to put in my two cents saying... If someone uses an app, they need to give credit to the said app. Because someone took the time to draw everything for it. Have you reported them? It's technically art theft since it's someone else's art, even if it is an app. If you gonna be like her, you can get off my wall. Now when this user commented for a second time, someone ended up defending the art thief. I'm sorry, but this is made from a dog avatar app. I used to have it. They never said they drew it. Yes, they did. We chat. Even still. Just stay the hell out of their business. Jeez. Defending users like this is why fan bases become toxic in the first place. Alright, so a day or so passes and I get a PM from the base dealer saying, Listen, you're gonna be a asshole and start spamming my wall, it'll report you. And I respond with, Boy, go ahead. I'm not the one breaking the rules. Spamming. I've left, like, three comments on the same thread. Shut the fuck up. Another day passes and this lovely chat happens. I ain't breaking the rules. This states otherwise. The image I'd sent them was a screenshot from the pink user of them claiming the art. So what fat smile deuce name what you gonna do about it? Honey, no. You claiming the art. You know what I can easily do. You know what you can easily do? Just fucking type, made from an app instead of saying you made it! You started the chat! Okay, so that's enough drama for one day. There's a lot more that I haven't included in here. But I'm gonna leave you guys off with something absolutely wonderful. This conversation. I'm not emu more. Any. More. You're not emu. I'm not any more. Oh, I like birds. And to top it all off, the final ending, to ease our suffering, this. He was born in 1942 with eyes, are blue and the doctor said that his birth was far too fast. His head stopped tooth, but wet he severed when, took his first teeth his mother took her last. His father knew that he wasn't to blame, but he quit look at Tom the same after that. He really spoke about her, but when he did he said your mother. Used to say this. He I, I.